Many potential home buyers don't know that there is something that's called earnest money, a required upfront amount of money usually due within three days of opening escrow. So what is earnest money when buying a house? Hi, welcome back to Your Desert Life. I'm Stephanie Turrentine, a resident and realtor here in beautiful, sunny Palm Springs, California. Home buying can be a little confusing and there might be some terms that you do not understand. One of them might be earnest money deposit. I'm going to explain this using a metaphor. Let's say you walk into a boutique and you fall in love with a $20 handbag, but you don't have enough money in your wallet to pay cash for it. So you offer the cashier $5 to hold it behind the counter so that you can run to the bank and come back later with the full amount. Frantic, you leave the store in a hurry on your way to the bank. You love that handbag and you want it bad. So you do everything in your power to make sure that you return as promised. The clerk held your $5, you proceed with the remaining $15 and you walk out of the store doing a happy dance. What if, in an alternate reality, you flake out on the store owner? You think about it and decide that the handbag wasn't really for you. You dilly-dally for a week, putting it off and not informing the store owner that you are no longer interested. Meanwhile, that store clerk has had a lot of interest in the handbag, but he held it for you with your $5. So technically, they're losing out on a sale. You never go back, you forfeit your $5 and the store clerk gets to keep your money. He can resell the bag now to someone else. The philosophy behind an earnest money deposit in a real estate transaction can be likened to this fictional story about a handbag and the boutique. Your buyer's earnest money is your good faith gesture that you are serious about buying the home that you've made an offer on. As a buyer, you demonstrate the initial act of making a home purchase with the earnest money deposit. It is part of your down payment, not an addition to your down payment. And it's usually between one and 3% of the purchase price, depending on how competitive the market is. If all goes well, you only owe the balance at closing. Yet, if for some reason you decide to bail out on the contract or breach the agreement in any way, you as the buyer have now given the seller collateral to keep that money. If you back out of the contract simply because you get cold feet or decide on a whim to change your mind and you have fulfilled all of your buyer contingencies, that's when you as a buyer stand to lose your earnest money in the deal. Remember the story about the handbag you loved but you never came back for? Well, it's the same thing. If you don't hold up your end of the bargain, that earnest money becomes the consolation prize for the seller. If you want to learn more about the escrow process in California, watch that video next. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, a seller is married to you as the buyer. So if you are not serious, don't make that offer. Buying a home is a really big deal. Make sure you follow the process, do your due diligence, and act in a timely fashion. Don't drag your feet, follow the timeline and get the keys to your new home. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. I drop new videos every Monday at 9 a.m. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care.